Einstein's gravity allows for a negative mass. If you take a positive mass and a negative mass, put them next to each other, the positive mass will attract the negative mass towards it, and the negative mass will push the positive mass away from it. So this pair will accelerate indefinitely. The problem is that it, if you introduce a negative mass, you can build a time machine. Reports are circulating across the scientific community that for the first time, a CERN quantum simulator may have registered something scientists never expected. A sudden negative mass spike so extreme, the run allegedly had to be stopped. The internet is buzzing with speculation. What could this mean? Is it even possible? And why would such a discovery force CERN to halt their operations? Negative mass isn't just some abstract concept. It's a fundamental challenge to how we understand our universe. Imagine pushing a ball forward, and instead, it shoots backward into your hand. That's what negative mass would look like in our reality. And rumors suggest CERN's cutting-edge quantum machines may have detected something disturbingly similar to that impossible behavior. Could this be the breakthrough that changes everything we know about physics? Or is there another explanation hiding in the shadows of quantum mechanics? Today, we're diving deep into what's really happening at the world's most advanced particle physics laboratory, the shockwave of the anomaly. What exactly would a spike in a quantum simulator look like? Imagine the digital equivalent of a seismograph needle suddenly jumping off the chart, but backwards. In quantum physics, data typically follows predictable patterns even in its uncertainty. But this alleged anomaly showed something entirely different, a rapid, unexpected reversal in the simulator's output that defied conventional explanation. Scientists who analyze these patterns understand that in quantum mechanics, particles have probability amplitudes, mathematical values that predict their behavior. What makes this report so extraordinary is that these values allegedly flipped sign completely. Think about that for a moment. In our everyday world, Objects have positive mass. Push them, they move away. But if these readings are accurate, the simulation briefly showed something with exactly the opposite behavior, matter that accelerates toward the force pushing it. This isn't just some technical glitch we're talking about. The signature supposedly aligns perfectly with theories that have existed only on physicists' chalkboards for decades. Consider the vacuum instability scenario a legitimate concern where our universe might exist in what physicists call a false vacuum state. This spike pattern shares disturbing similarities with those mathematical models. Even more intriguing is how the anomaly's profile matches equations seen in black hole physics. The mathematics behind Hawking radiation, where particles and antiparticles appear at a black hole's edge, shows similar negative value behaviors in certain conditions. But, this wasn't just theoretical mathematics playing out in a computer. If these reports are accurate, CERN's quantum simulator may have briefly recreated conditions that shouldn't exist in our universe at all. Let's take a step back and consider what this might mean if confirmed. If this really was a negative mass spike, CERN's quantum simulator may have touched conditions from the earliest moments of the universe itself. The implications would be staggering. Imagine, we might have just glimpsed what gravity looks like when it turns inside out. These are the kinds of extreme conditions that could have existed in the quantum foam of the primordial cosmos. Quantum simulators like those at CERN aren't just fancy computers. They're windows into realms of physics we can't directly observe. They use trapped ions or atoms manipulated by lasers to mimic quantum behaviors directly. What makes this report particularly fascinating is how it bridges theoretical physics with experimental reality. For decades, scientists have speculated about exotic states of matter with negative properties, but seeing them, even in simulation, would be unprecedented. The alleged spike didn't just appear randomly, it reportedly emerged during a specific simulation sequence designed to model high-energy quantum field interactions. Exactly the kind of environment where physical laws might break down. If you're fascinated by discoveries like this and want to stay at the cutting edge of science, make sure to subscribe. We bring you the latest breakthroughs that most people never hear about. So, what does this really mean? Did CERN actually create negative mass? No, but if these reports are accurate, their simulator may have mimicked the conditions where it could theoretically exist. 
That's potentially why the run was halted. Because in physics, sometimes the simulation runs into scenarios that challenge our fundamental understanding of reality. Think of it like this. Quantum simulators are designed to explore the boundaries of what's physically possible. There are digital test chambers where scientists can safely probe extreme conditions without ripping apart the fabric of space-time. What makes this case so intriguing is that negative mass has been theorized for decades but never observed. It appears in equations for wormholes, certain quantum field theories, and speculative faster-than-light travel concepts. Real-world experiments have created systems with negative effective mass behavior, like ultra-cold atomic gases that flow backward when pushed. But these are specialized laboratory conditions, not true negative mass particles. If CERN's simulator did register this pattern, it might represent a boundary where our current physical models break down completely. A digital echo of conditions that could rewrite physics textbooks. What do you think? Was this a glimpse of exotic matter or just a digital ghost in the machine? Let us know in the comments before we reveal what scientists are currently considering about this fascinating phenomenon. This reported anomaly doesn't exist in isolation. It has deep roots in physics history. Einstein's field equations, the mathematical backbone of general relativity, already contained tantalizing hints of negative energy densities over a century ago. These same equations allow for theoretical constructs like wormholes and warp drives, which require something called exotic matter with negative energy density. NASA scientists have even published papers exploring these mathematical possibilities for theoretical faster-than-light travel. But the history goes even deeper. During the Cold War, Soviet physicists developed theories about negative inertia in specialized plasma states. Their papers speculated about conditions where electromagnetic fields might create regions with reversed mass effects, research largely forgotten until recent years. What makes this contemporary report so compelling is how it connects to actual laboratory results we've already seen. In 2017, researchers at Washington State University created something extraordinary, a fluid that exhibited negative effective mass behavior. They engineered an ultra-cold atomic gas, a Bose-Einstein condensate, where pushing on it caused it to accelerate toward the source of the push, not away. While this wasn't true negative mass, it demonstrated that under specific quantum conditions, matter can behave as if it has negative inertial properties. The researchers were clear. This was an effect of internal spin-orbit coupling in the condensate, not actual negative mass particles. But it proved these behaviors can exist in our physical world, not just in theory. Now, fast forward to today. CERN's Quantum Technology Initiative isn't just dabbling in quantum computing. It's developing sophisticated quantum simulators specifically designed to probe extreme physics. According to CERN's own publications, these simulators aim to model phenomena like black hole evaporation, the ultra-dense interiors of neutron stars, and even conditions that might explain dark energy, the mysterious force accelerating our universe's expansion. Each of these phenomena involves equations where negative pressure or energy terms appear. The simulators use arrays of trapped ions, or neutral atoms, held in optical tweezer lattices to directly emulate quantum fields under extreme conditions. And that's exactly why this reported CERN spike is so unsettling. It allegedly mirrors experiments that have already pushed physics to the absolute edge. If confirmed, it wouldn't be unprecedented. It would be the logical next step in a scientific journey decades in the making. Let's bring this down to Earth and talk about why this matters beyond laboratory walls. If negative mass states could somehow exist in our universe, the implications would transform technology as we know it. This isn't just academic curiosity. It's about rewriting the rules of what's possible. Imagine propulsion systems that don't require conventional fuel. If negative mass could be harnessed, spacecraft might move by manipulating gravitational fields themselves creating regions where objects are pushed away from heavy masses rather than pulled toward them. Energy production could undergo a revolution too. Our current power systems all work within the constraints of positive mass physics. But in a world where mass properties can be reversed, we might tap into entirely new forms of energy generation. Then there's the question of cosmic architecture itself. Physicists have long struggled to explain why the universe's expansion is accelerating, Dark energy, a mysterious force pushing galaxies apart. 
might connect to these same negative energy principles. Picture this. A spacecraft powered not by combustion or even nuclear reactions, but by gravity itself working in reverse. A vessel that creates a negative mass field ahead of it would be pulled forward by what amounts to anti-gravity, potentially reaching speeds our current physics considers impossible. And here's the part that gives me chills. A negative mass event in a simulator isn't just mathematical curiosity. It hints that our universe might hide regions where the fundamental rules flip, pockets of reality operating with a completely different physics rulebook. We might be living in a cosmos far stranger than we ever imagined, where the basic properties we take for granted, like objects moving away when pushed, are just one side of a much more complex reality. And we're only just scratching the surface of understanding it. Now let's take a moment to understand what's actually happening behind these claims. CERN isn't working on quantum technology in isolation. They've launched a quantum technology initiative as part of Europe's broader quantum flagship program. This collaborative effort brings together scientists across the continent to harness quantum mechanics for new discoveries. So, what exactly is a quantum simulator? Think of it as a specialized chessboard where atoms act like pieces, obeying strange quantum rules instead of conventional chess moves. Unlike regular computers that calculate with ones and zeros, these simulators directly mimic quantum behavior. CERN uses two main approaches. First, trapped ion quantum computers, where charged atoms float in vacuum chambers controlled by precise lasers and electromagnetic fields. These ions interact in ways that mirror particle physics problems. The second approach uses optical tweezers, focused laser beams that hold neutral atoms in a precise grid. Scientists can arrange these atoms to simulate exactly how particles would interact in extreme conditions. What makes these systems so powerful is their ability to directly emulate quantum fields rather than just calculate them. This allows physicists to observe phenomena that would be impossible to create in particle accelerators. As for negative mass itself, here's what we actually know from confirmed experiments. CERN's own experiments with anti-hydrogen have definitively shown that antimatter falls downward in gravity, not upward. This rules out at least one form of negative mass. Scientists have created systems with negative effective mass behavior, like that 2017 ultra-cold gas experiment. Imagine driving a car forward but watching the wheels spin backward. The gas flowed toward the push instead of away from it. But this was a collective behavior of the system, not true negative mass particles. It's the difference between a crowd moving backward during a concert and humans actually walking backward naturally. Modern particle detectors use advanced machine learning to flag unusual events. A software anomaly in these systems could potentially be misinterpreted as a negative mass spike without representing any actual new physics. So, what are we left with? Was CERN's alleged negative mass spike the first hint of exotic matter breaking through into our reality? Or was it a digital mirror reflecting the universe's deepest and most mysterious laws? The quantum world has always challenged our intuition. Particles exist in multiple states simultaneously. Information seems to travel faster than light. And now, possibly mass itself might flip signs under the right conditions. Before we wrap this up, what do you think this spike really represents? Is it evidence of physics beyond our current understanding? A simulation glitch? Or something else entirely? Share your theory in the comments below. While we've explored the fascinating possibilities, we should note that CERN has not officially confirmed any negative mass spike in their quantum simulators. Their published research continues to operate within established physics frameworks. But that doesn't make this exploration any less valuable. Science advances precisely because we ask these kinds of questions. Even if such a spike was just a fleeting anomaly, it forces scientists to refine their models and question their assumptions. Because sometimes, what initially looks like an error is actually the universe revealing its hidden hand. The history of physics is filled with unexpected results that eventually led to revolutionary discoveries. From the Michelson-Morley experiment's failure that helped birth relativity, to the cosmic microwave background radiation initially dismissed as antenna noise. What makes quantum simulators so powerful is precisely their ability to surprise us, to reveal behaviors we didn't program into them. 
They're windows into the quantum realm, showing us glimpses of reality our minds weren't evolved to grasp intuitively. Whether it was a glitch or a genuine glimpse, CERN's quantum simulators remind us of one profound truth. The rulebook of reality is far from fully written. We're still turning pages, discovering new chapters, and occasionally finding passages that make us question everything that came before. If you want to keep uncovering the mysteries shaping our universe, subscribe now, because the next breakthrough might already be happening, just waiting for someone to recognize its significance.